Hello, my name is Gareth Haynes and I'm Managing Director of Norman's Musical Instruments. Norman's uh, is a retailer of musical instruments. Um, we're a specialist retailer, we sell musical instruments to uh, professional musicians, enthusiasts, schools and colleges um, all over the UK and the world. We have quite a lot of contract works, we supply products on an annual formal basis to many authorities as well as um, the Ministry of Defence um, and you know, professional bodies such as orchestras that buy musical instruments in large quantities of, of high value. Norma's has had a presence online with a, web, with a website and a web store since something like 2000. However, you know, we, we went through various different platforms, um, none of which seemed to we get a lot of exposure on the web. Um, and in essence, we've, we've seen that we, a lot of our existing customers were looking at our website. Um, but as we hadn't got a lot of orders from it, we weren't putting a lot of effort into the quality of it. And it was, we were in a bit of an unvirtuous circle, as it were. Um, it was only really uh, when we sort of started to dabble with eBay, when we started to um, sell some of our um, damaged or obsolete stock, when we suddenly sort of had a bit of a eureka moment and realised that you know this web thing was wasn't a wasn't some sort of illusion and it was there and people were buying on it, um, and that's really how we came to the the door of Channel Advisor. <laughs> Yeah, selling on eBay was, was great. Uh, we initially started selling um, distressed items on a one-off basis. Um, however, there was you know, quite a lot of work involved, not only just the writing of the listings and, and producing the, the photographs and so forth. Um, it was a, a system which wasn't integrated with our own accounting system. It was a one-off. People, you know, whilst, whilst it's relatively intuitive, it's quite labour intensive. Uh, and we just found that it was, as it grew, um, as we sort of found that you know, the demand was, was greater than, you know, than we could supply, uh, we realised that we needed to find some sort of scalable solution and find a way in which we could, we could, we could bring things in line with, you know, with our general business model. Well, initially, um, having been involved with eBay and, and sort of scaling up our eBay presence to a level where it became quite cumbersome to do manually on a one individual basis. You know, I did a bit of research and came across Channel Advisor, gave them a call, looked at the website and started talking. Um, from there onwards, I sort of started to open a can of worms to a degree and think about, well, okay, they could do eBay better, but what about our website? Can we replicate the success we've had on eBay with our web store? Um, and then from there onwards, you know, we've, we've, we've developed a relationship ongoing and you know, steadily increased uh, what we've done by, by bolting on different ways in which we could, the different channels in which we could expose Normans to the outside world and generate sales. Through Channel Advisor currently we now do eBay, we have our own successful web store and we promote our web store through Google AdWords and through, I think, four shopping comparison search engines. Um, in addition, we now have a presence on Amazon as well. Uh, and all these orders are processed in a uniform way through Channel Advisor. The penny started to drop about Amazon when I went to a conference um, organised by Channel Advisor, whereby Amazon were talking. And I realised that there was a possible commercial advantage of, of getting involved. Um, speaking to my account manager, Mike Searles, I, I saw that they were soon to be integrating uh, Amazon into the merchant platform and so I sort of got involved with that and now all my Amazon orders come straight through uh, into merchant and get processed as my, all my other orders by eBay and our web. Um, Amazon seems to be a very uh, lucrative and uh, way, way of doing business um, as long as you've got some margin in order to pay their commissions but we found that immediately we switched on, we were getting orders through, and then after a month when we hit the buy box, the orders that we kept that we received were, were substantial. Um, so high that really it was, it was almost impossible for us to cope. Um, and we soon ran out of stock. And so, um, yeah, Amazon is a, is a great way forward. I can see it being as, 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 as a major tenant of our online presence in the coming 12 months. Um, and doing it through Merchant means that we're doing it with the least amount of extra admin organisation and again, yet another possible sort of 
website that we have to be able to know how to manoeuvre and to go through. We just go onto our merchant sites and we do everything from there. For us Channel Advisor, it's just, it's, you know, we're not uh, experienced web traders. We're not technically innovative when it comes to such matters. Our business is in the selling of musical instruments and making our customers happy. By being involved with Channel Advisor, it means that, in essence, we've outsourced that whole procedure. Everything comes in in a standardised form. We can adapt our procedures around it. Um, and it means that as innovations come along, as they undoubtedly will on the web, Channel Advisor will move forward with it. We're not having to constantly reinvent the wheel with our own systems. We can move with you. We can take direction from, from Channel Advisor. And we find that you know, it's a pretty persuasive argument when you think about it like that. Over the last year, we've seen our sales increase rapidly online. Um, probably over the last three years, an increase of something like tenfold. Um, so, you know, moving on from there, you know, I think the next moving it on by another tenfold is going to be hard without our infrastructure coping with that. Uh, but really, looking to sell more of the same, uh, increasing the amount that we're buying to increase the amount that we're selling. Really, there's no holding back in terms of what we can sell online. We just got to get our act together to try and buy more and to be able to be able to literally handle more product to be able to get more out. But you know, irrespective of that, really uh, very optimistic for the future.